Hello and welcome to another episode of StarCraft 2 Co-op Guides. In this series we'll be <coughs> going through uh, different co-op commanders and going through, you know, builds as I try to do them. And this time we're going to be going through with, if you haven't already guessed, Alarak. Basic build into mass, Wraith Walker. If you like this content, do like and subscribe if not for me, for the Z-Lot. Wug, wug, wug. Or in this case, the supplicant. <coughs> oh man, I I love Alarak as a character. He is my favorite Protoss. Very recent addition to the Lord Legacy of the Void. Cause I actually like his. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit of a tangent. I love his faction a lot. The Taldarim. In fact, if you go to the skins, you can read a lot of fun facts about the Taldarim. Let's just go to my favorite, which is the Mothership. Blah blah. Okay, it's under the skin called Forged, because Taldarim in the Protoss language equals to the Forged. The Death Seed's motherships are equipped for total domination, each one thrown from a Taldarim fleet to their foes. A lot of other stuff. Uh, let's see, where is the Colossus? That's another really good one. It tells you about their society. Ah, there, there it is. Okay, this is actually interesting, because for the Colossus, there's actually two separate skins. Um, <coughs> right, so if you read the Colossi, that the Colossi were the first Protoss with robotics designed solely for destruction. They are a symbol of a bloody history and a necessary weapon to secure a peaceful future. Okay, very modern, very, you know, calculated approach. Uh, for the Forged, lower ranking ascendants often dare each other to disable and commandeer an active Colossus. If one succeeds, the Taldrim gains a more powerful war machine. If not a rival, ascendant has been eliminated. This is this is beautiful. Um, anyway, yeah, so a lot of really, really good uh, things. Like, even for the probe, it's like, have no use there. <coughs> Probes utilized by the Day Lab, the Unified Protoss, are calibrated to gather resources with as little ecological impact as possible. The Taldrim have no such precautions. Anyway, <coughs> alright, so anyway, anyway, anyway. So we're gonna go into a uh, build where we're gonna go uh, into Mass Wraith Walker. Basically, their version of the Colossus, but the difference is that they. Rather than doing an area damage, they do single target. <coughs> this also serves as a general build guide for Alarak. Okay, so uh, so normally we go Rifts of Kohal, but because it's Alarak, we are going to go Chain of Ascension. Rack, Sheer. We're going back to Slayin. Alright, let's go. We're also going to be running Artificer of Souls, because even though I honestly prefer the first one uh, more, High Lord of the Taldarim a lot more, because you know, you punch something and just dies. Uh, in this case, no, because we're running with, we're going to have a mass of race walkers and therefore it makes, it just makes more sense to, to do that. I also apologize in advance, um, if this build is not 100% optimized because I have been tinkering around with it and there's still some things, there's still some kinks and I'm probably going to, you know, get supply blocks. It's not going to be perfectly efficient, but I'm going to do the best that I can. <coughs> yeah, so this guy would be a, a supplicant. I didn't see the paint him white, but you know. Not gonna do that. Alright, so I'm gonna say first things first is gonna be set a probe out on the map. And we're gonna try to take our expansion ASAP. Oh, um, by the way, I also do a. If you guys didn't know, I also do a law podcast series where I talk about the law behind the different factions. This is in part why I chose Chain of Ascension, because this is the Taldarim uh, specific map. And. It, it just fits the theme so well. And, and, by the way, if you didn't know this, this is one of the, I think, only two, yeah, only two maps that you have unique voice lines based on the character. The other one being Balshir. Okay, we got lucky. This is the easier one. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to send the probe out. We are indirectly going to be cannon rushing our enemies. Okay, hotkey another probe. And hotkey another probe. Hi, Lord. <coughs> Amon's followers linger within our ranks. Okay, are we fighting Zerg? No, we're fighting... Oh, man, we're fighting Protoss. Okay, this is bad. Protoss is the hardest to, to pull off what I'm gonna try. Alright, set a second probe. See, so I love this map because um, Jedawa actually will address you directly, aka um, Alarak, because Alarak's her boss. Okay, throw this down. Oh, wait, 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 I made a bit of a mistake. It needs to be out of range of the cannon. This probe is here. It's a little bit inefficient, but that probe is there because I've played too many games and I've lost the first probe. 
Now let's do the pro gamer thing and put it on. Uh, okay, we wait for this to go online in a few seconds, and then we can start balling. We can start uh, blasting down this thing. Open fire. Okay, this is the tricky part. It needs to be in range of the cannon, but yeah, this is why I set the backup probe. Unfortunately, the range of it is not quite there. Oh boy. Oh, is that idiot not gonna fire on the. Oh no, we might have messed this up. Fire on the immortal, you moron! Do that a second. What are these? Okay, very. Oh, come on, take it out! Okay, perfect. Okay, we are now supply blocked as I worried about. Jump back here, throw probes into gas. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, on almost every single map, you should. I think you should be throwing your first pylon down. Um, <coughs> yeah, 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 Jinara. Okay, let's put one down near our ally space. We're gonna get supply blocked anyway. Okay, should be fine. Summon another one. This should this and uh, this should finish. You know what? No, let's cancel that one. Pull the supplicant back. A little bit of micro there. Insufficient Best beam gas. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Okay. Let's not lose anybody. Stalker will pop soon enough. We've regen some shields. Continue probing up. Forgot warp gate. Our ally is here, that's good. My life for the High Lord. Gas, buddy. Come on. <coughs> I'm here. Even my structures put up more of a fight than you. Okay, this is fine. This thing helps take care of that. Is Alarak ready? Okay, Alarak will head to the front line from the base. Jump back to the base, throw down another pylon, throw down another gas. Okay, let's pull back. Help our ally defend. Oh, that was fast. From the Turns the tide and aim on oh, did I just not blow that up? Ah, whatever. Let's throw this down here. Not enough minerals. What are those? Eh. Uh, allies. Let's go. Okay, just rally straight into there. Get the upgrade for that. Um, is he coming? Best be guess. Is he coming? Okay, fine. Let's have him take his base. Throw down another pylon for later warpins. I'm a bit concerned. I would have just jumped over, jumped out the hybrids. <coughs> Are we going now? Yeah, supply blocks happen. Okay, let's go! Fire and power me. Where are those stabbed hybrids? There they are. Push deeper. Summon another one of these. Get more probes. Throw down another one of these. Redo the hotkeys and we are fine. Okay, great. Wonderful. this point, we can throw down a another barrax. Not Barax, what are these things called? Gateway. <coughs> Actually, in this case, I would even go back and put the Kronos back on the... Um, back on the Nexus since I'm just probing up. We should move this a little. <coughs> and throw down a pylon. There's a stupid server there. Are headed toward their champion. Oh wait. So what I like to do on this map specifically, which I which I always make mistakes, is that I try to have one probe. Uh, well, first of all, to try and put down things on the chain of ascension, on the road to Rakshire itself, warp in some stuff. <coughs> so what I find is that yes, you can go straight into Robo, but I prefer to get a little bit more gateway units. Then once we are close to full saturation, then we will... It's weird. Once we are close to full saturation, then I'll throw down the robo and we'll blow this up a little later. Let's screw this blow it up right now. Okay, that's fine. Always warp in. Okay, so at this point I'm warping in mostly supplicants. I do want to have a couple of Havocs. Uh, just so that I have some detection. 
just in case. Okay, we're approaching Max. Let's throw down a Robo. And then throw down the gases. And the gases. Our allies are being attacked. So shall it be. Why is it not moving? Okay, now it's... Oh, it's because of this damn thing. So goes the <coughs> ah, the Deathly is still a while off. Too bad. I cannot stand against them for long. Kill them before I am overwhelmed. Let's push up north. Unfortunately, both Empower Me and the Death Fleet are not available at this very second. So we make do. Have Alec punch the hybrids. And just push forward. Okay, is this thing ready? Alright, so here's the thing. Um, once that is done, immediately throw down the robotics core. And... This stupid thing got to gas. And throw down the second robo. And also some pylons because... Um, Pylons are routinely a problem. They were done, we can head home. <coughs> so you can get a again you can get a warp prism, but I just prefer to get a vanguard. And that's literally a singular vanguard. Let's throw down some more pylons. One up here for good measure. Are we at full saturation? Yes we are. Cause, cause here's here's the thing, right? If you throw down the robo, you should be able to get one uh, vanguard out immediately, and then be able to. Uh, this will finish. Make sure you get these upgrades. This one is the most important because this allows the the, the colossi, the race walkers, to go after the um, to go after air units. Double chrono, and. Warp in some more of these guys. <coughs> Notice that we don't we don't actually have that that much money. A push this channel direction. Oh, disruptor is painful, painful. Call the death fleet. Okay, our vanguard is still alive. We'll keep an eye on that. That's effectively going to be our hero vanguard. Warp it when we can. Keep pushing. And we can come up this ramp and smash straight into the enemy line. <coughs> there we go. Okay, those are actually quite heavy losses. But now for those stupid disruptors, we took quite heavy losses earlier. Smash through whatever we can. Once the destiny, okay, the destiny has been recalled. Head back and start pushing the objective or Jedawa in this case. So down a bunch of pilots. So so here's the thing: you can get the warp prism, and you on many a map you should get the warp prism. I prefer just throw down pilots like I'm throwing down creep tubers. Okay, so the key about this is to always be warping in uh, supplicants. Wait, what? Did they kill my probe? No, no, they haven't. To always throw down a uh, supplicants because if Alarak, wait, do we have a havoc? No, 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 no. We we need a couple of havocs because if we don't have, actually, no, we should we should push this objective. Not so much go after the bonus, but just clear out this entrenched position. Takes a little bit longer, but doesn't really matter. <coughs> Let's set the probe over there. Continue race walker production. Yep, that's going up perfectly fine. So down another one. Oh boy, disruptors! Massive psionic power flows into Amon's champion from the hybrids. Slay them quickly. Ooh, we took a huge drop in supply. Yeah, I like taking pretty significant losses. Okay, but <coughs> our very expensive race walkers are still alive. That's good. So our probe is over there. I just basically throw pylons down all along the uh, right of Vax here. Okay, we recall the probe. Let's throw down another one of these. Jump back to main base and start getting our forges in a quick second. We've hit something pretty close to critical mass. Let's just throw down some stalkers. But again, the core of the army are all these uh, race walkers over here. 
Uh, that's what we're gonna focus on for victory. Okay, throw down these two. Ideally for the forge, I do feel that, yeah, you can go twilight first, but not that much of a point in my opinion. Eh, let's just blow up everything. Punch the immortal. <coughs> Keep an eye out for the disrupt. Okay, okay, Alaric got hit, but none of the supplicants. Ooh, those are painful storms. Where's Alarak and all this? Yep, there he is. Okay, jump back. Perfect. So, what I do believe is that you should be getting the Twilight Council once the... Okay, let's go after the bonus and aid our ally. Continue with Wraith Walker production. Should have more than a firepower now. This is good, huh? The supplicants, um, the supplicants provide, you know, cannon fodder. No, I don't have minerals. Alright, let's go. Death fleet ready for deployment. We'll let the disruptors waste on locusts. They still have weavers, which is annoying. Okay, we'll go up the ramp and call it the death fleet here, then go after the hybrids. Ah, there's the bastards. We are. That's pretty good. Frames are dropping. Need to summon more of these guys. If not, Alarak's gonna start eating our own race walkers. Okay, el enemy eliminated. Game effectively over. Alright, so. Summon a couple more. Get the upgrades. Again, we're not focused on the supplicants, so the Twilight Council was not that important. And we can just win the game here. Alright, so the key about this when you play Alarak is that you make sure that in the beginning your first probe goes after the expansion. Here's why, because on every single map, the attack wave, the first attack wave will come in line with your second overcharge, which means that you can afford to spend one overcharge <coughs> on um, on the rocks. And one overcharge can clear both the rocks and the gas. So with that, um, hope you enjoyed this video if you like this card do like subscribe not for me for the zealot <laughs>